But when you when you walk down the road and you're judging people and you and you see things, uh, ask yourself how much of that is what you can identify with, right? Ask yourself uh, how much of that are things that you do, right? And ask yourself if you're not seeking comfort in judging this person as opposed to judging your own self because judging your own self is too hard. <laughs> so I say that so that we can understand this concept. When you're walked backwards through your life, you will see the world through other people's perspective. Okay? So that's past. And when you walk your way through the past and you see other people's perspective and you see how they felt and how they, how they viewed you and the situation and everything starts to blossom and you start to see how this person, how these people, how your life interpreted the you that's going through it right now. You say, oh, I never would have thought about that. It'll be like that, okay? So your problem of the situation is your judgment of it. And, and we need to get this thing, we need to get this donkey in front of this cart. We need to get this thing going the right way, okay? Right now we're just an ass, all right? So the past is at least 50%. So first off, the past and the future. Our illusion. Okay? Past don't exist. Future don't exist. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the problem with your past is it is now your interpretation. and perspective of your past, right? Your past becomes your story. But as I just told you, as you get walked backwards through your life, is the, the human life is not enough to live forward and to live um, with your will and your ego and your bravado the 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 otherwise you would miss the entire story and you would never you would never actually gain or attain anything from a human experience you have to be walked backwards through death so that you can see people's perspective of you so that you can see the impact that you had on the world so that so that it's not for you to judge yourself but it's it's for you for you to come out in an enlightened being that's 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 Forward and backwards, is that's, that's how that works, okay? So, but when you go backwards, you're going to find out that your interpretation of the situation was wrong and your perspective is what was flawed. And at least 50% of your life experience. And I, and I know some parts of your life have hurt, and I know some parts of your life have been good, and I know sometimes you've judged things to be good that didn't turn out to be good, and I know you judged some things to be bad that didn't turn out to be bad. It's fine. It's the human experience, okay? But I want you to also know that while you may know at least 50%, if you're lucky, you know at least 50% of your own past, what you don't know is 100% of your future, okay? And I want to explain that to you. So uh, the way the judgment works, okay? Okay. 